To lock the doors and the lift gate, press the lock button. A beep will sound and the hazard warning lights will flash once. To confirm that all doors and the lift gate have been locked, press the lock button again within five seconds. If they are closed and locked, the horn will sound. To unlock the driver's door, press the unlock button. Two beeps will sound and the hazard warning lights will flash twice. To unlock all doors and the lift gate, press the unlock button again within three seconds and two more beeps will sound. To open the trunk on four-door models, press and hold the trunk button until the trunk lid opens. To signal for attention in an emergency, press the panic button for one second. The horn will sound intermittently and the hazard warning lights will flash. To turn off this alarm, press any button on the transmitter. To lock the doors and the lift gate, press the driver's door request switch. A beep will sound and the hazard warning lights will flash once. To unlock the driver's door, press the request switch. Two beeps will sound and the hazard warning lights will flash twice. To unlock all doors and the lift gate, press the request switch again within three seconds and two more beeps will sound. To unlock the doors and the lift gate, press the front passenger's door request switch. Two beeps will sound and the hazard warning lights will flash twice. To start the engine with an automatic transmission, depress the brake pedal. With a manual transmission, depress the clutch pedal. Press the push button start after both the green key indicator light in the instrument cluster and the green push button start indicator light illuminate. After starting the engine, let it idle for about 10 seconds. To stop the engine, shift the automatic transmission into the P position or the manual transmission into neutral. Then press the push button start to turn off the engine. To activate the accessory position, press the push button start without depressing the brake or clutch pedals. In an emergency, continuously pressing the push button start while the engine is running and the vehicle is stopped or quickly pressing it any number of times will turn the engine off immediately. If the engine cannot be started for reasons such as a dead advanced key battery, the engine can be started using the auxiliary key. Slide the auxiliary key out from the bottom of the advanced key. Use the auxiliary key to remove the key slot cover. Depress the brake pedal with an automatic transmission or the clutch pedal with a manual transmission. Insert the auxiliary key into the slot, but do not turn the auxiliary key in the slot. Press the push button start to start the engine. After starting the engine, let it idle for about 10 seconds. 